Okay, it's been more than a year that I released a video on how to extract Xiaomi tokens in seven steps. But what if I told you that you can extract Xiaomi tokens all within Homebridge in one easy way? Wow, look at all the Xiaomi devices that I have here for my new smart home build. And you must be wondering, would it be that easy peasy to extract Xiaomi tokens for these devices? And I say yes, cause there's a Homebridge plugin that basically allows you to extract tokens all within the plugin and control any device supporting the MIOT protocol from Xiaomi. And most importantly, allows you to extract tokens without the need of any code or extracting any information from backup files. Pretty neat, right? Anyways, if you're into smart home DIY and uh, love the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, then I have done tons of tutorial videos that you can use. So please do take a look and don't be shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. So for all of this to work and integrate your Xiaomi devices locally into Apple HomeKit, we will need one, you need to have a Xiaomi cloud account Two, Obviously, Xiaomi devices that I have a bunch of Philips Zeroe downlight already added in the Mi Home app. Three, and to enable the uh, HomeKit integration, we will be using Homebridge. Plus, I've also added guides in the description on how to install Homebridge. As always, I've broken down the video into three parts with their timestamps in the description. They are one a quick plugin overview. Two, from there we will go to install and configure the plugin to get the tokens automatically, plus add the devices into Homebridge. Three, then we will open up the Apple Home app to confirm if the devices are exposed. So let's not waste any time and let's jump into this tutorial. All right, let's head over to Homebridge.io and look for the plugin called MIOT and hit enter. Let's access this first link. And I'll be honest with you that this developer is actively adding devices that can be controlled locally and you can extract the token. So these were all of the features that we spoke about in the introduction of the video. And also there are around 20 plus device types that this plugin uh, supports. So let's go first and see all of the supported devices. Now, Wherever you see this blue circle, it requires a Mi Cloud connection, meaning it will not work locally. It will not extract the token. But for the ones without the blue circle, it will extract the token automatically from the plugin and add it into Homebridge. So there is a lot of devices that you can extract tokens and there are some that you can't. Now, just in case, if you want to really get the tokens for the ones in, in highlight with the blue circle, then you can use my previous video to extract and try if you can get it through the manual process of extracting code through the backup files. So these are all of the ones that are supported. So pretty neat, uh, lots of opportunities to control locally. As always, now let's go first and install and uh, configure the plugin. So my tip, always copy the header and let's log in into Homebridge. You want to go to plugins. Let's paste the plugin name and hit enter. Now, the good news is this plugin is a verified Homebridge plugin, so it works correctly and um, can be configured with the user interface. So let's go ahead and install the plugin. Now, once the plugin is installed, you will see a lot of device type specific settings. So you can go ahead and install each of your device type, the device IP address and the token manually. But what we're going to do is in one easy way, we're going to add it all automatically into Homebridge. So we're going to click on discover all devices via Mi Cloud. And all we have to do is put in your username and password. And make sure you enable automatically add to Homebridge and click on discover all devices. It took about a minute and you will see that all of your devices that were added into the Mi Home app, they've been imported 
together with the token, the device ID and the local IP address and the country as well. So let's scroll down and you will see that all of the devices have been added automatically. Plus you also see the advanced settings for the devices. So it also imports in the additional services that the these lights can have. So you get the LED control service, buzzer, child lock and other control as well. So let's go ahead and save and let's restart Homebridge. Once Homebridge is restarted, it will go ahead and add in all of the devices. And you will see that it's got all of the devices and it's getting the configuration. Now, since I don't have them connected, we are going to see an error that it's able, it's trying to reach out to the device. Okay. And if you go to accessories, you will see that each down light that I have in the Mi Home map has also got a corresponding device type specific settings. So this can be added as well. So even these lights support night mode. And just like that, that easy it is. It has imported all of the devices and its device type specific settings. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to go ahead and open up Apple Home app and you will see that it's all added over here. So if I show controls, You'll see each down light has got its specific settings added to it. And it's that easy that we got them into HomeKit, local control. And just like that, that's the ultimate way to getting your Xiaomi tokens in one easy way. And also control them locally into Apple HomeKit. No code, no backup extraction, making the whole process easy peasy. Anyways, I have more Homebridge tutorials that you can use right here. Feel free to access them. Don't feel shy to like and subscribe. And until the next time, my friends, stay safe and cheers.